Today's recipe is aloo gosh. Aloo is potato and gosh is meat. So for aloo gosh we need 1 kg of meat. Uh, we need at least 6 medium sized onions cut lengthwise. We need uh, four medium, 3 to 4 medium sized potatoes. 1 cup of yogurt. Uh, you need 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder. 1 teaspoon of cumin powder. 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. You can decrease the red chilli. It's up to your spice level. I've mixed 2 tablespoons of uh, ginger paste with 1 tablespoon of garlic paste. Salt as per taste. Uh, probably 1 or 2 teaspoons of peppercorn and 1 bay leaf. Also with ginger and garlic paste, you can have equal quantity of ginger and garlic paste. You can uh, have two tablespoons of ginger and one tablespoon of garlic but I have used here two tablespoons of garlic and one tablespoon of ginger. Now to start the process I'll just add in a little salt in my hot oil and I'll fry all these onions Just saute them well and we fry these onions till they turn translucent and uh, become a bit soft. Also I'll add a uh, little more salt. Salt also quickens the process of have become soft and little translucent. Now at this stage I'll add the meat. And uh, we will saute this meat for about two or three minutes and then let the meat water dry off. So we let it cook till the meat, uh, the original water from the meat dries off. After that we add it. The oil is uh, begin to begun to flow, and you can see the original water of this meat has dried off. Um, so now at this stage, I'll add in all my spices. I'll start with the ginger and garlic paste, with the red chili powder, followed by the cumin powder, garam masala powder. Uh, you can add in the bay leaf right now, you can do it later. I'll add, but I'll do it right now. Just add in the peppercorns, the bay leaf, remaining salt. Just saute it well. For garnishing, we can use mint leaves or coriander leaves or cilantro leaves. Uh, half a bunch would be sufficient. It's your choice, whatever is available with you. you can use that. We'll add in the potatoes once the meat is once the meat is cooked three fourths or at least 80% 85% to the meat has become a bit tender and then we'll add in the potatoes because if we add in the potatoes now by the end of the whole uh, dish being cooked they will completely become mashed so we cannot um, add the potatoes at this stage you can see the oil now I'll add in the yogurt This is one cup. We will saute this till the oil again starts floating and then we will add in four cups of water 
if in between the water uh, looks less and the meat is still not tender enough then you can add in more water as required at that point of time so now I'll just wait till the yogurt cooks a bit this dish does take time to cook if you're using a pressure cooker uh, you can uh, cook this dish faster it's been 10 minutes now uh, since the yogurt has been cooking you can see the oil floating now I'll add in the 4 cups of water I let this cook till the uh, till till the gosh or the lamb is uh, cooked uh, eighty percent eighty five percent and then I'll add in the potatoes. I'll cover this and cook it on medium low flame. We'll have a look if the mutton if the lamb is done. The lamb looks about. Uh, 85% done. Now I'll just add in the potatoes and we'll cook this till the potatoes uh, are completely uh, cooked nicely and the meat is also Also tender. we'll add in the cilantro, coriander leaves or mint leaves whatever you have. I'll just add that in too. We let this cook till everything gets tender and perfectly done. It took me at least an hour to cook this meat because I haven't used a pressure cooker. Now I'll just cover it again and let the potatoes cook too. Let's check if the potatoes and the mutton have become tender. So just take a piece, put a fork and a knife through. Yes, it looks tender. And just slightly slide in the knife. Even the potatoes look cooked. So this is your alu gosh, ready to serve. You can serve it na with naans, rice, uh, dinner rolls, alu gosh ready to serve.